It's raining cats and dogs on the Guangdong International Circuit. The sky is even grayer than usual and the water seems to be coming out of the clouds like buckets. Perhaps not exactly ideal conditions for a drive on the racetrack. Or maybe they are. It all depends on what you have to drive, and more importantly, how you have to do it the Yang Wang U8, an extraordinary vehicle that could seem almost nonsensical from different angles. Gallery, 2020 for BYD Yang Wang U8 Premium Edition. To start, the U8, the debut vehicle of the new luxury brand Yang Wang, which is part of the BYD group, weighs 3,640 kilograms, but that doesn't stop it from reaching 062 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. It also has no fewer than five motors, for electric motors and a petrol engine, that acts as a power generator, giving it a total output of 1,200 PS and 1,280 Nm. Impressive, isn't it? So, now you're beginning to understand me. Go unnoticed. No, definitely not. Before you even move it, the U8 is already breathtaking to look at, with a length of 5.32 meters, a width of 2.05 meters and a height of 1.93 meters. It naturally has XXL dimensions, but it's not the size that impresses so much as the styling. At the front, the grille and headlights blend together, with one becoming part of the other and vice versa, giving a very strong and confident visual impression. On the side, there are horizontal elements that provide dynamism, while in general there is a certain inspiration from the Land Rover Defender. The wheels are 22 inches in size. At the rear, the vertical LED lights are interrupted and eye-catching, while the spare wheel on the side hinged tailgate stands out. Wolfgang Egger, a former Alfa Romeo and Audi designer, who has been working for the Chinese giant since 2016, is responsible for the design of the U8. As for all BYD Group vehicles, the interior leaves you open mouth. Many reading this article will still have the idea that Chinese cars are sloppily made on the inside. However, the 2024 Beijing Motor Show provided me with tangible proof that this is by no means the case, neither for the affordable BYD Seagull, which will also be launched in Europe in 2025, and certainly not for the U8, which represents the pinnacle of the group's portfolio on board the U8. Lorenzo Curati was greeted by a wealth of first-class materials, even in the deepest and most hidden places, which are very pleasant to the touch. The dashboard is symmetrical, so that both the driver and the front passenger have a 23.6-inch display to themselves, with different functions of course. The screen in the center, on the other hand, measures 12.8 inches. The powerful onboard software impresses with its responsiveness and wealth of functions. Coming back to the screens, he counted for more in the rear, to tablets behind the backrests, one at the bottom for the climate control and another integrated into the center armrest when the fifth seat is not in use. Hello and welcome to the Electric Explorer. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We bring you the latest and hottest news on electric mobility every day. We're excited to introduce three membership levels, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers exclusive perks and content tailored for EV enthusiasts. Your support helps us deliver engaging video updates daily and keeps you connected to the EV community. Join us and be a part of the electric revolution. Better than nothing he drove the U8, it's true, but he didn't say how long. Unfortunately, there were only two laps on the program on the aforementioned track in Guangdong. But you know what? That's better than nothing, also because, as I mentioned earlier, I had a lot of fun. An electric all-wheel drive that skillfully and unobtrusively plays with torque is perhaps the best way to make fast progress on a wet track. Yang Wang U8 The Yang Wang U8 knows how to drift easily and perform pleasant, controlled stunts even on the huge 275 tires. The thrust is hard to describe. Acceleration is rapid, but the electronically controlled air suspension stops the pitching superbly. When cornering, on the other hand, there are no miracles to be performed. I was impressed by the light but not insensitive steering. These are the impressions I got from the short test drive. As for the drivetrain of the U8, it is particularly ingenious. As I said, it is a combination of a 2.0 lighter petrol engine and for electric motors. The interesting thing is that the petrol engine only functions as a power generator, i.e., it is not a traction motor. This is similar to the Mazda MX-30 or EV. But that's not all, because the U8 is also plug-in capable as it has a 49 kilowatt hour battery, which, according to the manufacturer, enables a range of around 112 miles. According to the manufacturer, the combined range is 621 miles. A special plug-in system, that is set to equip many other BYD Group models in further configurations, starting with the CLU DMI, 
will be launched on the European market in 2024. I can't wait to drive this car, this time not so much to be amazed by its performance, but to test the real efficiency of its powertrain. Let's just hope it doesn't rain. More than a car, a manifesto. One of the advantages of the U8 is the fact that the motors can move the wheels independently, allowing it to turn itself in a tank turn, just like the new Mercedes G580 electric, a function that is certainly more beautiful than useful but it is only one extreme of functions that are perhaps more useful on slippery terrain. There would be so much more to say about the innovations in the U8, from the central control unit developed with NVIDIA to the technological features that include the wide use of LIDAR. Did you notice the three little humps on the roof? Or, once again, the first full integration with a drone housed inside the roof? Thanks for watching.